Welcome to this Class 40 diesel electric locomotive in BR Corporate Blue Livery. This brief introduction will go through the start and stop procedures. Before getting started, some of the controls must be set in the rear cab, so head over and climb aboard. The locomotive tail lights need to be turned on for safety. Everything's now set in the rear cab, so head to the front cab and continue preparations. This locomotive is pulling vacuum braked 12 ton vans. The brake selector switch needs to match this or the brakes will not release. To get the locomotive started, set the battery isolation switch. A lot of time will be spent in the driver's seat. Now before the engine is running, the master switch needs to be set. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel. This locomotive features one engine which needs to be started. The locomotive brake will safely keep the locomotive stationary. The reverse. To allow the brakes to charge, we need to release the brakes from the shutdown position. The main reservoir will take a moment to charge. This can be observed by watching the brake dials. Headlights are important in letting others around know that a locomotive is operational. The locomotive brake is holding the train, so the rest of the brakes can be released. Increase the throttle to stop the locomotive from rolling back when the brakes are released. Like the other brakes earlier, release the loco brake. Use the throttle to reach 15 miles per hour. Do not apply too much power too quickly. Coasting is a method used on flat gradients to efficiently maintain a constant speed and reduce engine stress and maintenance requirements. There's a short distance between here and the next stop, so be sure to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. junction is ahead. Start applying a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable stop before the junction.
good work. That concludes all the basics of this locomotive.